Hello guys, welcome to the next video tutorial on Java programming for beginners. And in this video, we will see what is class inheritance in Java and how to use class inheritance in Java. So classes in Java can be extended and how they can be extended by creating new classes which can retain the characteristics of the base class and base class uh, I mean here is the class from which we are inheriting. Now to m understand it fully I have a little diagram to explain. Now for example I want to uh, make a class which can calculate the area of some shapes. So it can be rectangle, square, circle or triangle or anything right so i can make a class called polygon because they share rectangle and triangle shares a similar property and what is this property they both have width and height right so i can define two variables in my polygon class and i can set these width and height of these values in this polygon class using a method set value and in this rectangle or and triangle class I can create uh, two methods which can calculate the area of triangle and area of rectangle so the common properties which they both share which is height and width we cannot we don't need to define it in separate places in rectangle also and triangle also we can define them at the single place and we can use them using the inheritance property and how you can know that uh, these shapes or whatever classes you are going to make shares a uh, inheritance property so if the classes you are making have is a relationship is a means what I mean to say is is a relationship like this so rectangle is a polygon right and triangle is a pro polygon so they share is a property in between them so this uh, relationship whenever some class inherits from some other class the share is a property or a relationship so rectangle is a polygon and triangle is a pro polygon right so let's go towards the code part of it so what we are going to do is we are going to make three classes so we will go to the package one class first class we are going to make and I will call it as, as polygon right and I will I'm going to make two more classes one is rectangle and one is triangle so I will say this is rectangle class and I'm going to make one more class which is going to be the triangle class triangle okay now in my polygon class I have what property in common both rectangle and triangle can have width and height so I will define two variable which will be protected and why they are protected I have shown you and I have uh, shown you what is uh, the meaning of access modifier so protected and then int height and in the same way I will declare one more variable which will also be protected which will be width okay and I will define a method which will be public and which will return 
the area so for example we will return area in double right and so this in here let's try to set the values of uh, width and height for rectangle and triangle okay so this will be void set values and in here we will define int a comma int b and whatever user will pass the value of a we will uh, just say height is equal to a and width is equal to width is equal to b okay so by this method we are going to set the values okay now in my rectangle class how we can inherit from this polygon class we can inherit from polygon class in my rectangle class by using keyword extends okay just use the keyword extend and then use the class from which you are extending okay so rectangle class is inheriting from your polygon class and polygon class is in here is called derived class and rectangle class here is a class which is deriving right so this can be called base class and this can be called the cl class which is deriving okay in the same way i will extend in the triangle class also from polygon because polygon is my base class from which i am inheriting and now in my rectangle class i am just going to calculate the area now when whenever or if you are inheriting from a base class to a derived class then all its protected members and public members are accessible in your derived class okay so these member height and width and set values are accessed can be accessed by this rectangle class because we are extending from it okay if this was these variables and this methods were private then we cannot uh, you know use them in other classes but because they are protected and public protected and public method can be used in subclasses so this is a subclass and this is a base class so we can just define a method public and this will be the area so double area and what this method is going to do it will just return the area so return height into width and which height and which width we are talking about here because we haven't declared width and height inside this class in this uh, rectangle class right but whenever you hover over and click on this height you will go to the height in polygon class okay so this height in polygon class is accessible in this rectangle class also okay and width also from polygon class is accessible in the rectangle class also okay in a similar way the area of the triangle is half so height into width divided by 2 right so we will just divide it by 2 okay so we have everything we have uh, the area of triangle we have area of uh, rectangle and we are setting these value via this polygon class 
now what we can do in our main method we can uh, use or we can create the instance of rectangle class so rectangle rec for rectangle is equal to new rectangle and we are going to create the instance of our triangle class also so triangle tr tri is equal to new triangle and then for calculating the area we first need to set the value so we will set the value of uh, first rectangle so we will use instance of rectangle class dot set because we are inheriting from the polygon class in rectangle class this set value method is also accessible in the rectangle class via its uh, instance okay that's why we can access uh, set value method via this uh, rectangle instance for example we have 10 and 10 width and height okay in the same way we can access set value method from our triangle class and this for example is also same 10 and 10 with 10 height okay now we just need to call the area so we can just write sys o and from rectangle class we can call its area method dot area and in the same way we can call the area from the triangle instance which is try and now when we run the program we will get the answer first is the area of rectangle and second is the area of triangle so we can just modify this something like this area of rectangle is equal to plus right in the same way we can write area of triangle is equal to this one okay and area of rectangle and triangle are displayed like the area of rectangle is 100 which is 10 into 10 width into height and area of triangle is equal to 10 into 10 divided by 2 is equal to 50 right so once again whenever we use inheritance all the property of the base class in our case polygon class is available in your derived class in our case these are rectangle and triangle class so all the method which are protected or public are accessible inside our rectangle or triangle class okay so you can use the method inside polygon class if you derive it in rectangle class you can use this height and width we have derived in here using this rectangle class because we are extending from it okay so in this way you can extend the property of polygon class to the rectangle class and same is for triangle class so i hope you have understood the basic concept of inheritance in java and i hope you have enjoyed this video please write comment subscribe and bye for now